What is up, guys? This is Alex Rome here, and today we're gonna make a marshmallow style drop. This drop was recommended to me by this kid right here, Kashi. Kashi Yap, Marshmallow Ritual, he said. Uh, he suggested I do a video on. All of you other guys, Oh yeah, and then I got two marshmallows, so pretty much why I want to do a marshmallow video. Uh, Lewis the Child's definitely coming soon. Fox Stevenson, Porter Robinson by Bilal. Coming soon, bro. Uh, other ones are looking good, too. I listened to this song today. Killer song. And I may even end up doing that one. A guy named Mike Williams. I never heard of Mike Williams until I listened to his stuff today. So... That was a pretty cool song. Let's get right into into business here. So let's do some. Let's pick the electro bump to get our kick. This song sits at 120 BPMs. Let's hear our our uh, metronome. Let's get producing. So let's see if I can fix this with a little bit of compression because it's really really messy. I don't I don't like it that much. Alright. Uh, I'm starting to get the hint that maybe this kit wasn't the best kit to go off of. There we go. That's a nice one. Let's put this a little bit behind the kick and this a little in front of it. That would be a little bit too much of a spread. Let's actually... And let's put this right here. Just to give us some extra sound. And so now is the fun part. I'm going to use alchemy for this. We're going to do the bass line. All right. <laughs> So with Alchemy open, let's go ahead and turn that volume down a little bit. Oh wait, a kid, a uh, kid gave me some stuff about this. I got a whole command and click. Oh, I forget what you said, man. A uh, kid commented said I can hold something and click this knob and it'll go to half volume. Sorry, bro. It's like his pet peeve or something, but it's okay. Let's. This bass line is a mixture of saw and square so let's get this sawed and squared I don't want to stuff this up actually because it doesn't really sound like it is stuffed in the original okay and so we have to go to this filter here and modulate it. So we're going to right click, add it to our new ADSR, and let's make it tight. So that's what our bass line is going to sound like. Uh, I have to sidechain this because it's just something I like to get done. So let me sidechain it real quick. Okay, and so now what we're going to do is add the leads, and these leads are really easy to make. 
So let's get to making those. I'm going to make those with alchemy. For this lead, we're just going to clear everything. Go to A, and we're going to start out with a square. And we're going to boost these voices up a bit. Pull this detune down. And let's get this knob routed to a HDSR, a new one. And we're going to pull this sustain down. And we're actually going to put this up a bit, the decay, so we get a sound. Sounds like this. Oops. And then we want a little bit of reverb on this, but we're going to add reverb to a layer. So I'm not too worried about reverb and on this one right now. So now I'm going to just write the melody. Okay, so I have my melody and it sounds like this. Okay, and so what we need to do is obviously layer that because it's not nearly enough compared to the original version. So what I'm gonna do is just duplicate everything and we will get going on some nice layers. So an obvious layer that I hear in there is a little bit of super saw. And it's kind of like a big room house super saw. Uh, somewhat of a pluck. I'm definitely gonna use two oscillators on this super saw. Let's go back to here. I'm going to stuff it. Whatever. Let's put this up to here. If there's something Alchemy is better than any other synthesizer I've ever used at, it's the single best Super Saw plugin ever. And I will challenge anybody on that. Alchemy is the single best Super Saw plugin I've ever 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 heard it's it's quality of layering the unison absolutely incredible i will challenge anybody on that so let's listen okay so we have <clears throat> our little super saw here but there's a little bit of high to this <coughs> I want to turn down the highs a little So let's add a good bit of reverb behind this just to give us a little bit of spread in our mix. And I'm going to sidechain this just to add a little bit of dynamic bounce to it. Okay, and there was one more secret hidden layer that I heard in there that uh, you would probably not expect. And yes, that is a piano. So let's get that piano going. Pianos in drops probably will most likely be at 
top velocity compressed fairly well not too much though because an over compressed piano is really really hard to listen to this is a bit over compressed but I really don't feel like tweaking it any any more than that um I do want to get some verb on this. Let's get at the same room, same ish size room as that last lead. This, I'm going to try it down an octave. Okay guys, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bounce all of these leads into one layer so they're easier to manage. And then I will side re-side chain them all to the kick and hopefully have a nice clean sound working with our bass line. <laughs> So that is our nice layered layer and I'm going to go to compressor and just make one simple side chain to the kick so we're not going to worry about all those layers. to side chain or er, compress these again <laughs> So we're almost good, but to make these sound like exactly as they were in the drop, we have to fix this bass line up a little bit, and we got to add a layer to it. And this layer is actually going to be the same layer, only this layer is going to sound like that, and we're going to EQ the lows out of this layer. Let's add a little bit of crispiness to the highs. Maybe take a little bit less out of that cut and a little secret ingredient. There's a little bit of bit crusher in there. Let's get these compressors after the fact. Let's get this crushing a little bit more. Side chaining, I believe. Let me just check the side chain. Cool. Let's listen. Okay. 